Cirrus is a 10-year-old company in Concord, California that stands ready to revolutionize blood transfusions. They've developed something truly remarkable, an advance in basic medicine and health procedures that inactivates viruses, bacteria, and other pathogens in the world's blood supply and renders them harmless. It can protect blood not only from diseases we know about, but also from diseases we don't yet recognize as well. The beginnings of Cirrus's Helinx technology were at a small company in Emeryville named HRI. Originally, uh, way back, it started in the Shell Building and, uh, in Emeryville, which uh, became, which, which uh, Cirrus bought, and then now it's part of Chiron. And we ended up in, uh, in Berkeley, which was a converted warehouse. You know, HRI was six or seven people, and uh, Ken Machette and I and, and a woman named Ime uh, who was the organic chemist, were pretty much the bench chemists of the, of the company. Dr. Larry Korash, the chief of hematology at the National Institutes for Health, joined Isaacs and Hurst with a new mission of using these Sorlin compounds to tie up and destroy the RNA of the AIDS virus. There are about 25,000 people infected with HIV who acquired that infection through the use of contaminated blood products. Another 300,000 people in the U.S. alone are infected with hepatitis C, and the intercept blood systems are going to prevent that from happening again in the future when the next deadly virus or bacteria comes along and gets into our blood. Well, 90% of us will need a blood transfusion at some point in our lives, and we always believe that blood will be safe and available when we need it. Blood is safer today than ever before, but it's still not safe enough. It's still not at zero risk. We test for the AIDS virus, two hepatitis viruses, and syphilis. There are bacteria that we don't test for today. There are parasites that are important in other parts of the world, such as malaria, that we don't test for and have no test for. Uh, bacterial contamination, unfortunately, is a relatively more important risk. It was always there, but it was overshadowed by the more important risks of HIV and hepatitis. With the serous technology, even if it's in there, this would be taken care of. Blood products, platelets, plasma, and red cells do not contain DNA or RNA, but the pathogens or bugs do. For a pathogen to reproduce and cause infection, the two strands of its DNA's double helix structure must unwind and separate. And if these two strands cannot separate, the pathogen is effectively killed and harmless. Our Helix technology uses small molecules that react with nucleic acid and tie the two strands of the DNA together, thus for preventing their separation and preventing their replication. Uh, this is a quantum leap in blood safety. There are no other competitive pathogen inactivation systems to prospectively protect blood for platelets nor for red cells in the market today, and we do expect very rapid and very wide-scale adoption. Cirrus was recognized for its creativity and scientific achievements by Discover Magazine. The Healings technology was named the editor's choice as the top innovation in 2000. From a simple beginning in Emeryville to a national award for innovation, from the founders to 180 employees, Cirrus has created a company known for its achievements in science and in business, as well as for its own friendly, family-like culture. The Helix technology has been described as elegant chemistry in a simple format. Cirrus's molecular switch will make the blood supply free of infectious pathogens. So, men, women, moms and dads, never again have to worry about the safety of a blood transfusion. After a decade of inspiration and hard work, Cirrus is making a critical contribution to the medical needs not only of today's generation, but for generations to come.